Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is one of the times that I am bringing forth a special message. Um, this is a message that should have come out before the 23rd of September. Um, but um, I didn't bring it out because the energy vibration, the time wasn't right. Um, what I did was to have the readings on the day because that was what the guides and angels and the universal beings will for myself other people came out with a message from the 23rd of September and I came out much later okay um there is a whole lot of changes that is happening on this planet and is about to happen on this planet this year is a year of duality this year of 2017 was a year of the number 10 and the energy of also um, the um, new um, the magician okay so this was also the year of the hair and the air energies are very good um, the element of the hair is a positive one when we use it in the correct form there has been a lot that is happening on this planet um, um, for the conscious people and the people who are in the fourth and fifth dimension are aware and will be aware of what I'm saying this message is for the people who are still holding on to the third dimension okay you need to let go you need to understand um, the consciousness and why this planet and what is happening on this planet at this time there are certain energies certain portals that are opening up we are not the only one on this planet there is also um, hollow hurt there is also beams or the beams that live on this planet with us um, this is one of the most beautiful planets in this solar system and a lot of universal energies and beams would like to come and either take over this planet or take over humanity and this is what I'm trying to explain to you so we have a group of people they are the white brotherhoods and and the universal being the intergalactic and beams um, if you are searching for information you will come up at some times where you see the energy of the intergalactic and beams there are certain people who transmit their messages what you should understand is that uh, um, between now and 2032 there are things and that are going to be happening on this planet and we need to be awakened and be aware of this we came here each of every one of us came here on this planet to learn a lesson we should see this planet as a school whatever is happening in your life at this moment whatever you have chosen at this time to vibrate with whatever energies whether it's the low of higher energy vibration and a low energy vibration is the energy of hate jealousy and regrets these things are you are having a low energy vibration a high energy vibration person is someone who think of everything in con unconditional forms and it is not the easiest thing and the easiest place and the easiest energies but in time when your art chakra is ill you become wiser and you become uh, a service and you want to be of service to humanity it was not an easy journey for myself but I knew that there was something that I had to do for humanity that was going to help 
um, the process on at this time each and every one of us came in this planet with a gift each and every one of us has something very special within us and even though um, the we will vibrate on lower frequencies and that the lower frequencies is hate and jealousy and being um, negative over everything in your life that means you're carrying a lower energy vibration it is not one of the easiest planet to live on this earth and not all of you are from this earth if you have realized that your entire life has been taken over with dramas and most of the time it's not your drama but it's drama from other people um, that you tend to be attracting these low energy vibration of people and these are people who seems to be looking for chaos conflict liars people who have been working so hard to um, block other people and to use negative energies to block other people or to lie and be deceiving um, you need to realize that you're creating your own karmatic situations okay life um, we were given um, free will on this planet free will doesn't mean that because you have free will to hurt another person that it is um, positive because it's not um, this planet was made for people who um, wants to bring positive energies back to um, not only yourself and people but also to the planet itself because you have to understand that this planet is a living organism planet each and every tree on this planet the water the hair all four elements fire water hair and um, the hurt is a living organism without all the four elements none of us could survive on this hurt what is happening is that mother hurts wants positive energy she is doing a rebirth whatever that is on this planet that will not vibrate in the fourth and fifth dimension will be transformed to another um, uh, dimension of a planet like her because you need to understand that this is not the one earth there are different dimensions of this hurt if you choose not to vibrate on a high energy vibration which is bringing in positive energy vibration love and healing to yourself but also to others you won't make it through to 2032 you need to start calling upon your guides and angels and ask them to help you through this time of ascension ascension is the time of when we as, as spiritual beings or we as beings or um, vessels that are here um, communicate with each other with positive energies and we're going to release the lower form of ourselves each and every one of us have a lower form okay we all have the shadow side I have my shadow side you have your shadow side each and every one of us on this planet have our shadow side when we understand that we all have a shadow side and we can learn to um, merge the good and the bad together so that you can become a positive person um, on this planet so that we can touch the hearts of each and every one of us so that we can understand that 
even if someone ate you you can still look at the person and send them pure love and light pure love and light is a form of healing someone from a low energy vibration of understanding how that person has developed a sort of a mechanism so it helps them to deprogram themselves from hate and jealousy hate and jealousy is a form of you actually um, feeding yourself lower energies and whenever you can transform that to a prom a, a positive outlook not via the sense of okay uh, she said I can do it so I'm gonna do it no when you look at yourself and you can understand what is it that I need to release what are the less um, positive things about myself that I need to release and then when you can look at yourself and yet still love yourself for being who you are but try to change to a positive individual you will overcome everything in your life each and every person thinks that each and every one of us that are here doing readings on YouTube and all of that um, work with the same energy vibration but we don't some people do readings just because of the money some people realize that they can do these readings for popularity some people realize use it for all different um, um, ways but I use it because I want to empower people I want people to remember who they are I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and see the light the positive energy of who you are no wonder how you feel at times no wonder the situation that you have gone through in your life but to know that you are not alone okay that you can always call up on your angels and guides and ask them for help with whatever it is in your life when you can look at yourself and know you are trying to do the best you are trying to um, change yourself in a positive way that is going to help to move along the process of um, empowering yourself but also empowering other people um, I remember when I realized what it is that I was supposed to do I, I think oh my god I hate taking pictures I really I'm just one of those people that I don't like taking pictures I think that every time I take a picture is that a piece of my soul <laughs> and my son is the same way he doesn't like taking pictures and I remember I was oh my god do I have to do this why do I have to do this and um, I tried I tried and Oh, finally I decided okay um, I was doing the cards I was doing the cards and the pictures and I was trying and testing out everything and I decided you know it's not how I look because I don't want I have my entire life I um, I've been seen as the pretty face and I don't want to be seen as a pretty face but I want people to understand that I also have an intelligent part of me it's just not life is not full of just people who looks very beautiful because there's a lot of people who looks very beautiful but yet still their characteristic is not very nice and I always consider myself a normal person I just never like taking camera yeah this was art for me to do but at the end of the day I realized that what I have gone through in my life if I can help someone else who needs help 
and is not um, able to pay for that, if I could do these readings to give positive energies and to help people to understand who we are. I remember I did a study of everyone who does reading on YouTube and I realized that the most important thing was left out and that was the energy vibration because we all vibrate on a different sort of a, we all have a synchrony that we all play that music okay no matter who you are no matter what you have done in your life no matter how bad things seems to be and how bad you have done things to others you need to understand that sometimes and not all the time but sometimes some people um, are here to help other people clear their karmas okay there's some people who are on this planet that do not create karmas because we came in as volunteers and not as reincarnation beings okay most of this planet 90% of this planet is reincarnated and the other percent is came in as um um people to help with the energy vibration life on this planet is about to change we all need to understand that we need to know that even if you do not know the next person who is sitting beside you in the bus in the metro on the street in the coffee shop at work um, and in the car next to you what is most important is that we are all here on this planet trying to survive and survival is the key but being um, on this journey of survival we also need to understand that we need to respect other people and most of us have absolutely no respect for other people's no respect for the privacy of other people's and I think that that is a no loyalty respect and loyalty and um, the things that people will do for money it's unbelievable but at the end of the day you have to deal with this yourself so not your parents not your mother not your father is going to deal with this but there are you yourself have to deal with it the most powerful thing that could have happened happen to us as a species on this planet is that we were given the gift from the source and that is love whenever you can love someone unconditionally even with the faults that they have then you know that you are changing the energy vibration between you and that person unconditional love is the love that you know someone hates you but yet still you can take them out for a dinner someone is there who despise you but yet still you can say hello how are you I like that dress or something you see we all have asked these people to play a role in our lives and to help us to teach us things and sometimes we said why am I always attracting these people if you realize that you have been attracting negative people to your life try and understand that you are the person who is helping them clear their karmas because a lot of people are on this planet that came back to clear a lot of karmas because a lot of people have created a lot of karmas learn to respect other people if they do not want to become friends with you if um, they um, stand away and stand back um, and have respect for them and for yourself 
um, there are a lot of people on this planet at this moment that choose not to have not really a lot a small amount because there's different types of us that is on this planet there's some of us that are watches there's some of us that look at society I do not believe in politics I don't um, engage in politics that is not what is my purpose on this planet um, this is not my home I am here for a time to help people to understand that love is the only thing that is real that when we love someone we are healing ourselves and we are healing someone else and that life doesn't begins the day we were born and we start growing up and no life has begin for some people millions and millions of lifetime ago we who came in on this planet to help humanity to understand who you are that you are so much the gara and goddesses of the source creator and you are not less than no one else we are all equal on this planet whether or not you want to accept that no one of us is better than each other I do not wear a mask I am what you see is what you get I have no time to pretend I I have my lower energies and I have my eye energies I have the time when I shift from out one dimension to another in the sense when I get upset and the sense when I stand up for who I am and stand up for the respect that I should have because I treat everyone with respect so are we as human beings if we stop looking at someone because of the color of their skin and realize that we are all here on this planet for one reason alone and is to learn our lessons and is to understand what it is to be a human being what it is to have a soul in a human body then we will know who we truly are as a spiritual being spirituality doesn't mean going to church spirituality meaning loving unconditionally and knowing that we all are connected whether we are of the same blood or not we are all connected on this planet learn to love yourself but also love the person who ate you the most it is the most um, it is it, it is very hard to understand and people said how can I love my enemies I love your enemies because if you love your parents if the same love shares around when you love your enemies you are healing yourself and yet still healing the other person as I do this video I decided I will not put on any lipstick I am just giving it to you I never wear makeup I can't wear makeup I can't put on makeup I don't wear makeup I don't wear a mask who you see every week every month this is how I am sometimes my hair is because I keep it real I don't wear anything um, that is um, you know extras except my hair but um, I am someone who came here uh, and I've never felt comfortable on this planet because I still do not understand why is it that we have so much hate um, why can't we just live in peace on this planet and people might think that um, 
you're not realistic I am realistic if we choose positive um, connection with each other if we choose to share um, positive energy to the next person if we choose to help the next person on the road um, we can have a positive shift of consciousness I want to say to each and every person that has sent me wonderful messages and prayers through the time of the hurricane I want to say thank you this hurricane that just came up and that you know everyone was in chaos where I was we didn't have we could find gas and there was gas pump that had gas and we had to stand in the line and um, I saw um, a, a shift of consciousness with a lot of people but I should um, say that the most important thing um, that is happening is that I'm seeing that people are starting to connect to each other and as these things happen and I am blessed um, in so many ways and I think that's why um, there's a lot of people who dislike me for whatever reason but I am one of these people who were gifted with a lot of things and I share these gifts um, but there are people who um, tends to um, have negative um, energies towards you or for whatever reason but I send them pure love and pure light because that's the most important thing you can ever do but I want to say again um, to all all my supporters all the people who have been subscribing to me um, you know I wish I could just um, speak to each and every one of you but sometimes I get up to 200 messages per week on my channel and I want to say to each and every one of you please continue to do that and why because other people will understand that they're not the only one who is going through this process what is this message is all about is that coming to the end of this year there are going to be a lot of changes on this planet there is a lot of beams universal beams that are coming in a lot of people are going to be finding out that they have gifts be careful the way you start using your gifts and opening up your gifts if you abuse the gifts that you were blessed with it will go away okay please remember that each and every one of us are here for a purpose okay and we need to be um, a whole positive expectation for ourselves but also for your neighbors I have seen true humanity um, since the hurricane and I don't know sometimes I said um, the universal angels are blessing me and this is really what I was supposed to do because in all of West Farm where I was we had the light went out for an hour and we had electricity through the entire storm so I want to say to the power service everyone out there thank you so much I don't know this is this is a blessing in disguise because um, other people had didn't have power for like you know days and weeks after so um thank you again for supporting my channel thank you for being here um, thank you for sharing and liking my videos um, next year is going to be a totally different shift of energy so I have to do a total different shift of readings I want to say thanks to a very good friend of mine who has um, support me through this journey because I think it's really the only person that understand what is happening on with the shift on this planet and um, life is not full of um, wonderful gifts but it's full of surprises and it's full of uh, unexpected 
things but sometimes we need to understand that we are here to learn and um, if we um, choose not to learn and choose not to um, focus on the positive side of things we need to understand that because of the shift of energy on the hurt whatever we think that is exactly what is coming back at us and this shift has been st started from the 21st of December 2012 and we need to understand that life has brought us um, what we can deal with and we need to forgive people when they have done us wrong I know it is it is the hardest thing um, but you don't have to forget but you need to forgive people we can't change people um, we can change who they are but we can begin with ourselves and we can begin by um, healing ourselves and understanding the sort of a um, the sort of a um, self-expression that we're here um, to connect with each other to um, love each other in a positive way to have respect loyalty help each other be understanding to certain aspect and certain situation to know that um, we um, need to be positive and serve in a way of uh, healing things around you and trying to heal the next person if we all open up our hands and give a helping hand to someone else who needs it not to the person who wants the money to buy drugs um because i really really if i'm given someone homeless on the road something it's always food make sure it's food or clothing okay look in your closet the Christmas is coming Thanksgiving is coming and for the rest of the world Christmas is coming um, look in your heart try and find look in your closet look find the clothes that you have wear for so many years give it to Salvation Army because someone else can use that um, open your hearts um, to whatever the situation is there is going to be a lot of changes coming in portals are opening up uh, universal beams are coming down people need to connect and understand remember we should always vibrate the energy of love no matter what is happening around us life on this planet is not an easy one but we are all here to learn a lessons and with each and every one of us we have asked people to play their part in our own movie this is our own life that we are sharing with other people and we need to do it in a positive way we need to understand what is happening to us as humanity um, a lot of people are seeing and given uh, different information of what is about to happen and um, they need to understand that we need not um, um, release fear on people we need to help them to understand that the only thing that mother hurts wants is love peace and love you know mother hurts wants you to know that you are connected with that chicken or with that um, piece of beef you are so connected to it um, with that mosquito um, you know every time that a mosquito come to you you were also a mosquito you know you need to understand that everything we are connecting um, to everything around us we vibrate 
a positive energy vibration as you vibrate something positive to someone else that is what you receive you need to understand that as of the end of this year the beginning of 2018 you are going to realize that things energy vibration things are going to start changing you're going to see these changes you're going to feel these changes and we need to understand that we need to vibrate the energy of love and not to aid to each and every one of us love yourself first and then love your neighbors and you know there is a song that a child said um, 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 the child was praying and it says love mama love papa and I love the bad minded neighbors okay <laughs> but if a child can know that the neighbors are not vibrating on the eye energy vibration um, so can we but yet still we can pray for them and we can also love them just as we love our own so ladies and gentlemen I haven't done a special in a very long time there is so many videos that I need to up um, upload um, as of 2008 sorry sorry a lot of people um, energy vibration will be changing I'm sorry I have to drink and what is going to happen is that some people are going to really feel it um, the pulsating in your crown chakra for some people pulsating in your heart chakra um, um, whatever chakra that is unbalanced you're actually going to feel the pulsating in it for the people who are um, looking for work and that sort of a thing you're going to uh, realize that your base chakra the energy vibration in your base chakra so what you can do is actually call upon the angels to touch open and activate all of your 12 chakras not all of you were born with 12 chakras but as you ask them to activate them they will be awakened you have them but they're not awakened some of us um, light workers were born with all 12 chakras being activated because of what we came in on this planet to do um, the chakra is very 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 important um, whatever the situation is your chakras are very important you need to always have your chakras and your aura the energy vibration of your chakras and your aura needs to be clean at least one time per day so you can call up and ask your angels and guides whenever you feel as if you're tired you're out of energy that that means that negative energies are coming to you that means that people a situation and places are sending you negative energies and you need to understand that you have to ask your angels and guides to clear your aura and your and align your chakras okay it is um, a time of understanding who you are knowing who you are connecting with who you are even if you have a family you need to understand where you are and what is the position you took on uh, to support your family to support your the people at your work to support your friends that they invited you in their life story their movies because each and every one of us are playing our own movie and we are inviting other people to play part in it so once again thank you um, for supporting my channel thank you for all the likes and shares and support and I want to say to each and every one um, be aware of what you send out in the universe because that is what you will receive okay now the time is changing that whatever thoughts whatever negative things you tend to um, send out in the universe that is what is going to come back 
because the hurt energy vibration is changing okay it has been I think an hour so I'm gonna end this re um, videos I will try and make other videos because there's so many information that needs to be out and um, towards the end of the, the year in December there is going to be a mystical um, situation that is going to happen um, a lot of people will be um, receiving downloads of information um, and downloads of information is that all of a sudden um, you're seeing things clearly you're understanding things clearly you're connecting um, to everything you're feeling you're tasting um, you are realizing oh my gosh I need to stop eating meat or I need to stop um, you know uh, doing um, I need to take time I need to meditate people are going to start because once you start taking five minutes a day have a cup of tea drink something five minutes with yourself no music nothing just begin with five minutes then you're going to understand the vibrational energy of who you are the synchrony of your energy vibration is going to start playing again and you are going to be affected by that and you're going to be understanding how powerful your energies are remember whoever you share your life with whoever you share your bed with whoever you share your body with have um, a trans a transfer um, energy vibration um, to you so um, you need to, to also clear that sort of energy remember if you are married that means um, you took on the energy vibration of someone else um, to work out certain aspect of themselves again thank you and namaste until next time